Certain positions is gonna look really good. Cause the gap and the back. <laughs> Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your Tara BNA. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the fam. And I want to welcome you guys to a new series. I'm not sure as of now exactly what I'm going to call this, but all I know is I'm getting my life together. Okay, I need to gather my whole stuff my whole being okay i just feel like i set out a lot of goals to accomplish throughout the year 2023 and we just hit the mid-year mark and i feel like i've been lacking like slacking like my foot need to be on a pedal like i need to press go i just feel like i'm not doing enough in many different areas of my life and i want to push myself a little bit harder it's a lot of stuff on my list but one thing that's definitely on there that i feel like i want to be open and vulnerable and share with you all is getting my health together i have a doctor's appointment set for like mid-september and if you don't know i'm only five two and i feel like when i go into that doctor's appointment they gonna tell me that i'm obese or something and that cannot happen like Y'all, my father has a scale at his house and I don't know what, I don't know why the little devil be sitting on my shoulder like, girl, stand on it. And I'll stand on it and the last time I stood on it, I I thought a ghost was in the room standing on that muff with me because who weighs that much? Me? The girl has got two heads. But I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm doing in the gym. I'm going to be showing you guys the things that I'm snacking on in terms of like healthy snacks healthy eats in general so we're gonna spend a lot of the time in the gym and in my kitchen okay because yeah girl we gotta get it together all right so right now don't talk about the fact that i'm drinking something in my bathroom okay it got real good lightning here but i just made my pre-workout i drink bloom if you want the ones that I drink, it's on my Amazon storefront. I'll link it in the description box below. It's on my vitamins and supplements list. I'm about to get everything that I need. And we're going to go to the gym together. Keep in mind, I'm a newbie at this. So if I'm doing something wrong, my form isn't all the way there. Don't do me in the comments. Give me constructive criticism. And um, hopefully it's not a lot of people in there. So I don't feel uncomfortable with filming because... I be getting nervous. So, cheers to health, bestie. time for the lights to flicker and I was out of there like that's the fastest I ever left a gym so I came home got myself together and I want to talk about like what I did in the gym because honestly speaking even though I just started my whole get my life together series I was going to the gym prior and I am already starting to see like some results with my body and I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all I was kind of being mean to myself earlier let's be real I have a really good starting point like I like to think I have a really good starting point. Okay, 
And as soon as I get this waist snatched and this arm flabber gone, we're going to be good to go, okay? So let's talk about the things that I was doing in the gym because they actually have really been making a, a difference. So first things first, um, usually when I go in there, my routine is to sit down and do some back movements, okay? If you want a snatched waist, you have to work out your back. I wish I could show you guys my back, like my lower back, because it has definition now. Never have I ever had like an indent in my back before and now I do. T like certain positions is gonna look really good because the gap and the back. <laughs> yeah, do those movements to slim out your back and it's gonna give you that cool battle figure. We all know the leg press, the Smith machine, any type of squat, any type of lunge, the hip thrust machine, going to get the booty, the cakes, Mwah. chef's kiss. They're going to get them together. Um, I did not show y'all, unfortunately, I turned off the camera, but I do like around the towns, whatever they call, they really help with the gut because I'm stuck in the air right now. <laughs> Those and those like lifting up your knee those really help with the gut i like to do easy workouts that like just come easy like they literally just feel easy to do when it comes to like your body movements i like to do those because it doesn't make me feel like i'm straining and it doesn't make me feel uncomfortable in the gym with other people around me um i also do a lot of arm like upper body movements um like my favorites are these with a weight um, regular curls straight out those help the flat underneath um, getting a barbell and going like this helps all of this and your upper back as well any cable machines and pull downs are gonna help slim out all of this like look look at the waist going in and wearing a waist trainer when you work out really helps too so yeah Enough rambling because y'all already saw me work out. I'm going to try to be consistent with that routine and then implement other things as I go. Some of these series will be dedicated to certain like areas like my bum. I'm going to do like a glute workout. I'm going to do a full back workout, full like ab, core, midsection workout because that's, this guy's the go okay um and something that i'm really good at is eating right and eating healthy and finding like different things to snack on that are actually healthy and full of fiber to get your digestive system going because what you put in really determines what you look like on the outside so i'm about to show you guys how i've been making my like oat chia seed pudding that i got from tiktok so we're gonna go make that um, and talk about some pre-workout and some supplements that I've been taking as well, okay? Boom, get you some old-fashioned oats. Don't do the, um, the instant ones. Um, chia seeds are really good and they are full of fiber. If you need help going to the restroom, then this is good for you. However, do know that you cannot eat chia seeds raw. Like, you have to soak them. Basically, that's how you, like, cook and prepare them. You cannot eat them raw, girl, because they absorb any type of, like, moisture and water. So, if you pop them hose back in your throat and then <laughs> they absorb water, like, the saliva in your mouth and whatnot, they will clog your throats. Um, so don't do that. You're gonna need you some honey. If you want to make it sweet, you're gonna need some honey. Um, I also like to do, also like to use brown sugar. And then my base is almond milk, but if you're an oat milk kind of gal, then use that or whatever else. Yeah, that's really all you need for the base. And then what I like to top mine with, usually I'll top it with like fresh, like hard granola. Because I like the texture difference. I like crunchy stuff sometimes. So mixing in with the soft oats, it tastes good to me. Um, sometimes I do coconut flakes just because those are good for you too. And I do a lot of fruits. Also, I didn't know, but cherries are, like, very good for you if you have problems going to the restroom as well, honey. I did not know that. So, I just be snacking on cherries nowadays. You know, you just got to do things here and there. Like, don't, don't completely transform your life overnight because you want to create a different lifestyle for yourself. So, it needs to be something that you can stay consistent with. You know, so right now I'm getting my bows. I got these from Amazon. If you ever are interested in anything that I got, 
Go check my Amazon storefront. It's so much stuff on there. And I really love how you do this at nighttime so it's ready for you in the morning. I don't know if y'all notice if you're new here. I'm getting my oats. But I'm a work from home kind of girl. So with that being said, when I wake up and I got a 9 o'clock morning meeting and I wake up at 8 because I ain't wake up early enough to like prepare breakfast for myself. This is perfect for me because it's already ready. All I got was pop it in the microwave and then add my fruit and my toppings. So stinking simple. They look like bugs, girl. That's the only thing I don't like about it. A little drizzle of honey. I actually don't like too much honey in this. It tastes weird to me. I added honey on top and it threw it all off. It threw the flavor profile off. Add a lot of brown sugar. Brown sugar has been like my favorite sweetener as of lately. I've been putting it in my matcha, so it tastes like a brown sugar matcha latte. Oh my god. Talk about good. Like I actually don't use the sweetener syrups anymore because alright, that didn't want to go in nicely. Cause they be taking tasting too artificial. I don't like that. I do two scoops of these. Like I said, I like the brown sugar. Um also I'm using a cup as a measuring cup. So one cup of oats, you do one cup of milk. I'm trying to get y'all different angles because I didn't want to just show y'all the bowl. I feel like that's boring. Pour it on in there. Get you a spoon and stir it up. And yeah, this is how I doctor it up. If you want to make this the same day as you eat it, you need to allow your chia seeds to soak for at least like three to four hours. In my opinion, the longer the better um because it'll like also absorb all the flavor that you put in sometimes i also do a tablespoon of vanilla like extract but i'm saving that because i want to make french toast <laughs> you let it sit and in the morning everything like it looks super runny right now but in the morning it's gonna be like congealed and thickened it's gonna taste so good don't eat this and then run out and go my errands baby because you're gonna be having a bubble guts in somebody target or somebody tj maxx and we don't want that for you okay buki so give yourself enough time after eating this to make sure that you know you you can flush yourself out you know you can flush your system out in the comfort of your home look i'm your virtual bestie okay i got you i got you yes now i have breakfast for two days i feel like don't let it sit in your fridge for longer than three days Cause then it just looks nasty. It is milk in here, guys. Like, be so fucking real. Let me show y'all two other things that you guys should get. If you feel like every single time you go to the gym, you don't have enough energy and motivation to get through your workout, you should start taking pre-workout. I like this one by Bloom. This is the first one that I ever tried. Well, actually, it's the second one. My man had one from Oxy Straight and it was really good, but it's more expensive. This one is cheaper. I think that's like 50 to 60. This was like 30 something. It's on the Amazon storefront linked in the bio. It tastes amazing. You cannot take pre-workout anytime after like 4 p.m. throughout the day because you will be up all night. And I took this the other day around 7 p.m., y'all. I didn't get no sleep and I had nightmares all night. It was not a good time. Something else I've been taking is matcha with collagen. We all know collagen helps you with your skin and, you know, beauty in terms of, like, skin, hair, and nails and whatnot. But it also helps you with your joints and with your recovery with workout. Um, and then matcha is really good for your digestive system. If you are trying to heal your gut... These are the type of things that you need to be um, adding into your like overall diet. So I drink a matcha a day. I drink green tea, peppermint tea, spearmint tea helps with your digestive digestive system as well. Um, I feel like all of this has been helping with my skin because girl had a really bad breakout. Um, 
and I drink hella water y'all but y'all already know that so yeah I feel like that really wraps up this video this is just the first of the series it's gonna get better it's gonna get more detail when we go into my meal preps and what I'm cooking for breakfast lunch and dinner and whatnot that's gonna be super informative I'm also gonna put like a lot of benefits of everything in the description box or like on the screen for you guys in future series videos so we can all go on this journey together okay and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like so I know you like the content and I'll see y'all in the next one bye mamas mm -hmm.